Hey, 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 time to focus our energy for the week. Come on in and join me over here on Facebook in the Empowered Spirit Circle and going live over on Instagram. Come on in and join me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time for the energy focus for the week. Come on in and join me. It's a holiday week for most of us here, at least in the U.S. at any rate. Come on in and join me. Talk about what's going on. We'll chat a little bit about the podcast. And then we'll pull some cards, align our energy, and see what's going on. Come on in and join me. All right. First and foremost, the podcast. I had a really interesting guest, Michael Mayo. He's a psychic and a medium. His thing is evidential mediumship. He's really big into like deceased loved ones, working with that grief energy. He has an amazing school. We really had a great conversation talking about psychic energy, talking about the responsibilities as a psychic, as a medium to yourself and to others, especially Hey there. Hey, Jade. How are you? Hey, wise woman. Yes. So it was a great conversation. We talked a little bit about like all the things that go into training, how everybody can learn mediumship, what it means to connect with someone on the other side, how that can help you in your life, create wisdom, create peace, create joy. So I did share a little bit about that as well, about the um, situations I had coming out of grief from my own parents. Definitely was very helpful. So check out the podcast. He has a school. He's out in California. He does readings. He's an astrologer. Check him out. Michael Mayo. Spirit Speaks is his new work, his new book that just came out. I think it actually comes out December 1st. I think we were pre-sale time. Really great podcast. I'm always grateful to you know, really connect with other mediums, other psychics, and to learn more and more about that price process. I know for myself, lots of times when I'm working with somebody, doing a, a session, an energy session, a Kashik session, something like that, I do bring in past lives. I do bring in, I mean, deceased loved ones. All right, I was with somebody the other day, and her father came in. It's like, yes, we want to recognize this energy. It's so reassuring, and it's so opening for the heart. So definitely check it out. Shout out to my sponsor, Forecast Salon, a hair salon here in Birmingham, really dedicated to creativity and education. Check them out at Forecast Salon on Instagram or forecastsalon.com. Really great. I'm very appreciative of them sponsoring the show. All right, so I think the theme for this week besides party. No, I think the thing for this week is all about integration. All right. We've come out of that deep, or we are coming out of that deep, deep, deep Scorpio water energy, eclipse energy. On Tuesday, we move right into the fiery Sagittarius. Some of that fire is going to dry out some of that water energy that we've all been feeling, all that depth. So it really is about integrating what you've learned, integrating all the things that have been coming forward for you, all right? And Sagittarius, that fire really is about expansion. It's like the wanderer. It's like the one that likes to travel. And so it is a good time to really expand, especially all that new information, what we've brought in from the eclipse season, all that new energy allowing you to move forward, go forward. So when we have this energy of Sag coming in on Tuesday, it's ruled by fire, inspiration. Careful with that Mars energy. It's still retrograde to the beginning of the year. Just careful. I know I got into a little bit of that fiery energy. Careful of your words, careful of your actions. And Jupiter, Jupiter is actually coming out of retrograde. So that's the expansion that Sagittarius brings. All right, so really the key is to allow yourself to integrate that new information. All right, let go of what doesn't serve you anymore. I know we talk about it all the time. So it's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? So sometimes it's like energy through intention. Energy follows intention. Maybe you need to go do a little ceremony, especially right now because we're in what we call the balsamic moon, dark of the moon. Burn something. Release it out. Cut those cords. And sometimes you have to just do it more than once. All right. I know I do. I'm very sensitive. I have a huge emotional body. So sometimes I have to just keep cutting cords, keep releasing the energy, burn it up, write a letter, something like that that really helps you. Delete it off your phone. These are the ways in which you can let go so that you make room for more energy, especially fresh new energy to come in. All right, so really, this is the key right now, is really allow yourself to slow down, see if you can take some time, get off social media, all right? I know it's such a habit, 
but allow yourself to get off, let go of any of that comparison, looking at what everybody else is do, at doing, and really allow yourself just to kind of open up to this newer part of you. I know at first it feels vulnerable, but the more that you work with it, the more that you take those new steps, those new paths, it will become more second nature and it won't feel as raw. All right. It does remind us, Sagittarius energy does remind us that it is okay to change. It is okay to make new decisions about your life and where you're going. All right. So taking some downtime and slowing down is going to help you to understand. Also, it's going to help you to bring in new ideas, messages from the spirit. I know this morning, probably around four or five o'clock, like, like I was awake, but I was running my energy and I brought in so many messages. And then I couldn't remember, like, oh, no, I'm going to remember. Then I couldn't remember. But later in my meditation, they all came back. And this is what we want to do. We want to bring in those messages. We want to write them down so that we can work for, have them work for us. This period of time right now, it really is big changes going on. Big shifts, big changes. We're going to see ourselves this time next year, probably not even recognizing where we are. So it is a time to really integrate, do the work, go deep within yourself. All right, we do have the American Thanksgiving. I have mixed feelings about that. I love the holiday because my family comes and visits, but I do have mixed feelings about it with the Native American energy. So we do have to recognize this energy, recognize what's going on, and offer lots of gratitude for where you are and all the many things, especially as you sit down to your table. All right, so the new moon comes in on Wednesday. So we start dark of the moon. New moon comes in on Wednesday, and that new moon energy is the time to set those new intentions and use some of that fire energy in a positive way, in an inspirational way to set those intentions out for you. Write them down. Allow what you brought in during that eclipse energy to come forward in this new moon. It's a really powerful time to really set yourself up. I mean, really it is. We're coming to the end of the year. Don't give up. Don't stop. It's a time to really feel that energy, feel those visions, feel those dreams, and set those intentions for you as we move through. All right? Definitely. So definitely allow yourself to understand where you are, to use this new energy coming in, getting out of the Scorpio and into that Sagittarius energy. All right, let's take a moment and ground our energy and just really pull all that energy back into you. You do need to protect your energy as you move through the family stuff going on. So just taking a moment if you can, light a little sage, light a little incense, and just bringing in that fire energy. The air of the sage, the smelling, dropping into the heart, the element of water, and all the way down now, exhaling all the way down, grounding your energy. As you take that next inhale, expand through the belly and the side, opening up the chest. And as you exhale, pull all your energy in, call in your energy, call in your spirit. Feel that alignment coming right in in front of you. Take another deep breath. And as you exhale, just dropping into the heart, the deepest part of your heart, feel that connection that you have with your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you are known, know that you are loved, feeling all that energy coming in around you right now, grounding, centering, calling in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, the crystal beings, calling in your own spirit guides, feeling all this energy coming in around you, as you take a moment with me right now, noticing where you are on this great wheel of life, we find ourselves in the direction of the west for the season of fall. The west is where the sun sets. Imagine yourself in the beautiful colors of the sunset, noticing your day, the struggles of your life. This is where we look at that. Notice the leaves falling, how they return to the earth. And so we let go so that we can open up to a bigger part of who we are. Offering gratitude for Mother Earth and all that she brings to your table. As we call in to the west, the north, the east, and the south, above you, below you, right into the very center, right into the deepest part of your heart. Just feeling that connection coming in for you as you set your intention. Releasing out, opening up, setting that intention for you and allow those elevated emotions of how you want to feel the peace, the love, the abundance, and let it just radiate out all around you for this week. Inhaling and exhaling, just feeling yourself centering as you call all your energy back in, 
Grounding your energy, coming back, opening the eyes, inhaling, and exhaling, feeling yourself centered. So the first card that we have tonight is the lover's card. I love this because it allows you, especially right now, all this energy we've been moving through to look at the divinity of your own heart. What is your heart telling you? What is it telling you about the relationships that you're in? Are you ready to go deeper? Or is there a little bit of discord? This is a time to really open up, know your own heart, know where you stand with your relationships and notice what it is you need to do to go deeper and deeper within that love. This is the lover's card. All right, the other cards that come in are really beautiful as well. We have a couple of majors too. Here's the 10 of earth. So this is an opportunity for gratitude, all right? Here we are at the holiday. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. The 10 of earth is really kind of reminding you of all that you've built. I mean, look at this. The house, the home, the structure. Earth is our grounding, our work, our material. 10 is allowing us to really see that full picture because 10 equals 1, then we begin again. But take a moment and really offer gratitude for all the many blessings that you have as you sit down to your table this week with your family. From the water you drink to maybe it's a turkey, whatever it is you're eating, offering gratitude for all the many things, all that effort you put out in the work that you do. Feel it coming in for you. We have the moon that comes up next, all right, that new moon energy. This is talking about your intuition. Are you using your intuition? Are you caught in the illusions of your life? We really want to go deeper and deeper into the intuition, using that intuition, knowing and trusting your gut. So know where you are with this. When this card comes up, I always talk about time to do a little training. Hello. And then we also have the sun card. Some of that fire energy of Sagittarius coming forward. All right, reminding us the sun is shining. This is a success card. All right, where is that success going forward in your own life? And where can you bring it forward? When we see this card, especially because it's a major, it's like riding on the horse. We've done it. We've worked hard. Success is the sun is shining on your back door. So notice where that is for you. All right, especially again, coming around just to recap it here, the lover's card. What is your own divinity as you go deeper and deeper into the love for yourself? That's what opens up and shares with others. Ten of Earth is a gratitude card, appreciating all you've done, all that you've built and worked hard for. The moon, tune in, go within. Answers, answers, answers are all within. Train your intuition and then feel that success. All right, take it forward on your path out into the world. Beautiful cards this week as we go from one season into the another. Let me know how that resonates with you. All right, if you'd like a card, I'd love to read for you. I do have a few announcements. Check it out. My jewelry sale is going on right now until the end of the month. It goes away December 1st. You can find bracelets, malas, necklaces, earrings, and you get a virtual session. It goes away at the end of the month. Check it out. All right, tomorrow, Reiki Circle. We're doing a community Reiki Circle. If you're local to Birmingham, come practice. Come practice your Reiki skills, 5.30 at the OHA Body Works and Wellness. Come join us. All are welcome. If you don't practice Reiki, you can receive 5.30, DM me, or you can find more information on the website or in my bio link over here. All right, and then definitely the Yoga Circle. I'll be teaching Tuesday, Awaken Yoga, and Friday as well, Restorative and Sound Bowls. Come check out the yoga classes. Come join me. All right. Definitely. And if you haven't taken my quiz, I have a brand new quiz, The Dark Side of Energy Drains. What is your evil archetype? Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Learn a little bit more about yourself. All right. So if anybody would like a card, let me know. Don't see any requests. Anybody like a card, just post. Let me know. All right. I'm going to draw for Marissa and Mark. They're going to check it out later. All right. Marissa, this card is for you. This is the AHA card. This is like letting go of all the judgments we place on ourselves, so that you can have that moment of AHA. All right. I love that. All right. Beautiful. I'd love to have my card read. I've been going through many changes. All right. You'll be next. Mark. Mark, you got the Ace of Fire. Mark, this is new, new passion purpose coming forward a new beginning feel into the passion and purpose of what it is that you're doing all right all right so beautiful miss lele beautiful miss lele you got the five of water so this is some emotional energy going on some changes coming forward so it looks like you know like oh my gosh oh my gosh but don't be afraid of change once we move through change the next thing is six harmony 
But notice that things are still structuring. So go within, spend some time within. Water's our emotional flow of energy. Free up the emotions, don't hold on to it. No emotion is ever final, all right? All right, see if that helps for you because yes, it is hard right now. I see you've been going through some changes. That's exactly what this is, change. So go within, tune into your intuition so that you can come out of it a little easier. All right, Charmed Moon Water. What a beautiful title you have. The Emperor. So this is about someone that has learned their lessons, all right? They learn their lessons, but the beautiful part about when we learn our lessons is we use that wisdom to help us experiences in our life. Sit in your tree, own the lessons that you've learned, use it for your story, use it to share all the many experiences that you've had. All right. All right, Jade. Jade, what a beautiful reading you gave me yesterday. It's so much fun. I was reading at Ritual Shelter. So much fun yesterday. Jade, we got the five of air. All right. So this is like, you know, standing in your light, standing in your mindset. Let go of the trouble, right? Let it go. Let it be released. All right. So that you can stand in your light. Let go of all the churning of the mind. Know your mind. All right. Know your mind. Release the excess. All right. Let me know how that responds to you. Let me know how that resonates with you. Jay Boss. Jay Boss. Jay Boss, this is one of my favorite cards. Hanged man. Cat, I'm coming to you. Hanged man. This is about having patience with yourself. Hang upside down. Look at life from a different perspective. Pull back a little bit. I like to say sometimes like witness your life from a different perspective. Have patience. This is a good week to do that. Take some time for you. All right. Good. Great. All right, Kat, Kat, what do y'all celebrate? You don't have you don't have Thanksgiving in Australia, but maybe you have a good meal anyway. All right, Kat, we got the two of fire. So, Kat, this is about like you bringing your purpose more and more out into the world. Look at the hands opening up. It's like bringing it out there and sharing more of your gifts with the world. Beautiful card, all right? Definitely. All right, thank you. All the love and appreciation for you. You are so welcomed. All right, did I miss anybody? And everybody's in transit, starting to be. I'm super excited for my kids coming forward as well. All right, so check it out. Check out my schedule. Check out my offerings. Get that jewelry sale before it's too late. All right, so let's just take a moment to close. Preparing for this week ahead. We're in dark of the moon as we start out the week, so don't let yourself dip too little, too low. Allow yourself to open up to the new moon on Wednesday. Set your intentions. Enjoy the family, the celebrations, whether you're with family or friends or whatever. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude for all that you have, all the many blessings. All right. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Take a moment of gratitude right now. Gratitude for your spirit. Gratitude for the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up, focusing your energy, and setting your path for this week. Have a great week. Check out the podcast. To your spirit. Namaste.